The Gloucester Meteor was the first British jet fighter and the Allies' only jet aircraft to achieve combat operations during the Second World War. The Meteor's development was heavily reliant on its ground-breaking turbojet engines, pioneered by Frank Whittle and his company, Powerjets Limited. Development of the aircraft began in 1940, although work on the engines had been underway since 1936. The Meteor first flew in 1943 and commenced operations on 27th of July 1944 with number 616 Squadron RAF. The Meteor was not a sophisticated aircraft in its aerodynamics, but proved to be a successful combat fighter. Gloucester's 1946 Civil Meteor F-4 Demonstrator, GAIDC, was the first civilian registered jet aircraft in the world. Several major variants of the Meteor incorporated technological advances during the 1940s and 50s. Thousands of Meteors were built to fly with the RAF and other air forces and remained in use for several decades. The Meteor saw limited action in the Second World War. Meteors of the Royal Australian Air Force fought in the Korean War. Several other operators such as Argentina, Egypt and Israel flew uh, meteors in later regional conflicts. Specialised variants of the meteor were developed for use in photographic aerial reconnaissance and as night fighters. The meteor was also used for research and development purposes and to break several aviation records. On the 7th of November 1945, the first official airspeed record by a jet aircraft was set by a Meteor F3 at 606 miles per hour, 975 kilometers per hour. In 1946, this record was broken when a Meteor F4 reached a speed of 16, 616 miles per hour, 991 kilometers per hour. Other performance-related records were broken in categories, including flight time, endurance, rate of climb, and speed. On the 20th of September 1945, a heavily modified Meteor 1, powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent turbine engines driving propellers, became the first turboprop aircraft to fly. The 10th of February 1954, a specially adapted Meteor F8, the Meteor Prone Pilot, which placed the pilot into a prone position to counteract inertial forces, took its first flight. In the 1950s, the Meteor became increasingly obsolete as more nations introduced jet fighters. Many of these newcomers having adopted a sweat wing instead of the Meteor's conventional straight wing. In RAF service, the Meteor was replaced by newer types such as the Hawker Hunter and Gloucester Javelin. As of 2018, two Meteors G. JSMA and GJWMA remain in active service with the Martin Baker Company as ejection seat test beds. One further aircraft in the UK remains airworthy, as does another in Australia. Okay, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and until next time.